The central banks will have a different message. This is in order to avoid the spread of panic concerning the financial markets and their currencies, which could lead people to rush to banks to withdraw their money. This, obviously, would be unsustainable for the economy. A nation in which faith in a currency is lost will see recessions and will take decades to recover. Instead, central banks use the Consumer Price Index, also called the CPI. The CPI is a flawed indicator, yet is the most commonly accepted indicator to measure inflation and its effects on prices. The CPI follows the price of a basket of products that are consumed by people. This, in essence, is the way an indicator like this one should work. But the CPI is flawed because of the way this basket of products is selected. It is selected based on what people choose to buy. So every year new products will be added to this basket, while others will be removed. But what they choose to buy depends on the price of the product. If inflation goes up, people will change their basket of products in order to accommodate for the price increase. This essentially makes it a new basket of products. The CPI will not track the price of the previous basket of products, it will track the price of the new basket of products, after the consumer decision has been made in response to price increases. Seyfedin Amos illustrates this properly in the fiat standard. Imagine you earn $10 a day and spend them all on eating a delicious ribeye steak that gives you all the nutrients you need for the day. In this simple consumer basket of goods, the CPI is $10. Now imagine one day hyperinflation strikes the economy and the price of your ribeye increases to $100, while your daily wage remains $10. What happens to the price of your basket of goods? It cannot rise tenfold because you cannot afford the $100 ribeye. Instead, you make do with a chemical shitstorm that is a soy burger for $10. The CPI, magically, shows zero inflation. Remember that governments will never show us the true inflation numbers, and they will not attribute it to the increase in our monetary supply because of their management. If people actually understood this, they would never be re-elected.